Now we're subtracting a fraction from a mixed number. And when we're subtracting, we need the denominators to be the same. So 28 is in both the 7 and the 4 times table, so we can find equivalent fractions to 6 sevenths and 3 quarters, which have a denominator of 28. 7 times 4 is 28, 6 times 4 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28, 3 times 7 is 21. So now we can rewrite our question. Instead of 1 and 6 sevenths, we can write 1 and 24 over 28, and instead of subtracting 3 quarters, we can subtract 21 over 28. Now, if we subtract our fractions first, 24 28 minus 21 28 is 3 28 because remember, when we subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same, and then we just have 1 minus nothing, so we still have 1 in our answer. So our answer is 1 and 3 28 Now, 2 and 5 9 minus 1 half. So we need to get our denominators the same. 18 is in both the 9 and the 2 times tables, so we can use 18 as our common denominator. 9 times 2 is 18, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 9 is 18, and 1 times 9 is 9. So, instead of 2 and 5 ninths, we can rewrite our question as 2 and 10 eighteenths, and instead of subtracting 1 half, we can subtract 9 eighteenths. Now, we always subtract the fractions first, so 10 eighteenths minus 9 eighteenths is 1 eighteenth, and 2 minus nothing is 2, so our answer is 2 and 1 eighteenth. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.